Good afternoon. My name is Rene Mandel, and on behalf of Berkeley Symphony, I welcome you to Real Berkeley, our series celebrating the radical, edgy, audacious, and loving scenes that define our unique Berkeley community. Today, I am thrilled to introduce Audacious Performances, a concert film featuring the artistry of Berkeley's finest, the iconic composer John Adams, the cutting-edge choreographer Robert Deckers and his company Post Ballet, and of course, our very own Berkeley Symphony musicians. And now, it is with great pleasure that I introduce to you our dear friend, John Adams. During the pandemic, I was uh, intensely aware of, of how my performer friends were suffering. Uh, you know, I had a, a day job. I'm a composer, so really the lockdown was really hardly any different than my normal life. The difference being uh, that I normally every month or every four or five weeks will uh, go away and conduct. And I love that part of my musical life where I'm actually in touch with musicians and I'm performing myself. It's a wonderful buzz. Uh, and I think it, it not only gives me a refresher from my composing, but it also, um, you know, keeps me in touch with the realities of what it means to be in an orchestra or in a, any kind of group and the challenges that, that uh, musicians have. So during the pandemic, it was, it was so painful to, you know, see singers and uh, violinists and wind players who, who couldn't work. You know, and they were, you know, you can only do so many Zoom performances and that gets pretty tiring. So um, when we started work on Shaker Loops, it was, it was just a, a thrill for everyone. And, and for me, it was uh, great because it was the first time I'd performed in over 14 months.
Thank you.
Thank you. 
Shaker Loops uh, has an unusual title. Shaker, of course, uh, you know, it, it refers to the motion, the tremolo motion of the bow. And there's, there, there are two kinds of tremolo. One is with the bow and the other is with the fingers, which is more like a, a trill. And large parts of the piece are given over to that kind of gesture. Uh, but there's also a little uh, reference to the Shakers, the, the religious cult. I grew up in a small town in rural New Hampshire, and there was a Shaker colony uh, up the road about 10 miles. There was nobody living there, but uh, the rumor that we'd heard was the Shakers during their ceremonies had a dance, and that the, the dance was so energetic that uh, uh, it sort of created a kind of crescendo of emotion and activity and, and ended up in some kind of ecstatic vision of God. Now, I don't know if that's really the truth or not, but it was certainly uh, an inspiring image, and the piece uh, actually is structured that way. So about two-thirds of the way through, there is this, this really aerobic, climactic, uh, very emotional moment in it. It's been a great opportunity to do this work. Uh, I've been a citizen of Berkeley, California for uh, over 30 years. Actually, when I moved to California, when I came out here in 1971, um, I, I, I got a job working on a, a waterfront in uh, Oakland, and I lived uh, right on Telegraph Avenue in Berkeley. And then I had a San Francisco experience and then uh, came back to live in Berkeley in uh, 1983. So both of our kids uh, have grown up here, and uh, uh, now we have grandchildren who are Berkeley residents, so it's a special thing for me to be able to do this here. Thank you very much, John, for your insight on Shaker Loops and for your extraordinary performance. And a very special thank you to Robert Deckers and the Post Ballet dancers, our musicians, and our filmmakers for the superb artistry that you bring to our world. We are also deeply grateful to the East Bay Center for the Performing Arts for welcoming us into your beautiful space. And finally, on behalf of all of us here at Berkeley Symphony, thank you for tuning in to Real Berkeley.